My understanding when I first heard I had lung cancer was I couldn't possibly have lung cancer because I've never smoked in my life. What do I do now? Well, the biggest challenge is it's got to work. Today, Fiona is checking in for treatment, joined by her partner, Graham. Sit down here. She has stage four lung cancer. Sit down and wait. Hmm. My name's Fiona Roden. I'm uh, just turned 65 years old and I'm a retired, well, I'm semi-retired uh, school teacher. I think I'm very fit and I'm very active. <laughs> It was a very big shock, actually, because it just felt like a muscular pain. My understanding when I first heard I had lung cancer was I couldn't possibly have lung cancer because I've never smoked in my life. But as somebody said, all you need to get lung cancer is a pair of lungs. Smoking is still the main cause of lung cancer. Although survival rates have doubled in the last 30 years, it remains our biggest cancer-related killer. Fiona is taking part in research into a type of lung cancer that often affects non-smokers. For this, she's been treated with what's known as a targeted drug. If you've never smoked, and get lung cancer, you are more likely to have one of those lung cancers that contain mu a mutation of a gene and therefore allow us to treat it with targeted therapy. So this is the osimertinib. This is the targeted therapy. So that is something that I take every day. Yeah. So one of them is just a pill. In Fiona's case, we found a change in a gene called EGFR, the epidermal growth factor receptor. EGFR, it's as simple as that. And of course, my initials are FR, so I thought, oh, it's got my, I've got my own private genetic mutation here. <laughs> so today it's 11.30. The drug targets the molecule produced by the mutation that's responsible for the growth of the cancer cells and blocks it. That's about a glass full of water, I think. Yep. Thank you. Great. Targeted drugs come with none of the damaging effects on healthy cells that other treatments have. But the cancer has been found to develop resistance over time. So Fiona's volunteered for a clinical trial that aims to see if they can give it a boost by adding something extra. What am I getting today is some more chemotherapy. I have two drugs. The first infusion is quite short, it's only 10 minutes, and that's a drug called permatrexid. Then the next infusion takes an hour, and that's a drug called carboplatin. What? I'm fine, I've got my book, got my phone, charged. Actually, maybe an apple juice, please. Would you like a cup of apple juice? No, I'll just have it out of there. Thank you very much. The aim of the trial is to see if added chemotherapy can make the targeted therapy even more effective. So this is a trial where some patients receive chemotherapy, some don't. Fiona's therapy includes chemotherapy. To make chemotherapy, we do that in a clean room. Treatments like Fiona's that go into the bloodstream have to be prepared in a completely sterile environment. Any contamination could cause a serious infection. This is carboplatin. So carboplatin is a cytotoxic agent. It's a platinum-based compound. Carboplatin is the go-to chemotherapy for many cancers. Chemotherapy is a long-standing treatment for cancer. 
It basically works by interfering with the ability of our cells to divide. Now, it usually does that by either binding to DNA or binding to some of the other machinery within our cells. It also affects normal parts of our body because normal cells in our body also need to divide. Examples include our blood cells and also includes our hair. It's one of the reasons that some chemotherapy makes our hair fall out. We keep using it though because in the right circumstance, using the right drug, it works. Today, Fiona will find out what effect six weeks of combined treatment has had on her cancer. The implication of stage four cancer when we're talking about lung cancer is that this is not a curable situation. We can keep it under control, we can keep it from spreading further, but we cannot ever get rid of it. Whatever, you know, science wants to throw at me to help me get better, I'll take. Biggest challenge is it's got to work. Hi, Morning, Fiona. Michael. All right, nice how are you going? You. I'm going well. You probably want to know what the scan shows. I do. Yeah. Your blood tests were taken on Monday as well. So the scan is good. Oh, good. Really, really, really good. Yes. Um, really, well, really good, did it you It is say? really good. I, basically, everything we know about has decreased in size. Right. Uh, on average, it's probably decreased by about 40 to 50%. Fantastic oh, that's fantastic. news. So this is your chest. Right. Slice through. Okay. See that area there? Oh, yep. That's basically gone. It's so gone, did you say? It's basically that, that gone. One, that one basically is wow. gone. Wow, oh, that's great. 